Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To the return subscribers, welcome back. If you're new, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, right now, hit that button. And make sure you hit that bell option to stay updated on all my new uploads too. Now, this is just a simple video update. In one of my earlier, more amateur videos, I gave a tip on how to resolve a problem with a Samsung Galaxy tablet screen. Well, basically the screen would just freeze and it would become unresponsive. This is a well-known common problem. When the memory is running low on the Samsung tablet, the screen becomes unresponsive. Because I've had a lot of feedback on the clarity of the video that I uploaded, but I just want to tell you guys once again how to get your screen working again. So if your Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 is currently powered on, you're going to have a problem accessing the settings to reset this tablet. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to reset the tablet and the screen should be working again. It's cool though, you won't lose any data, pictures or videos, you just have to follow these simple steps. So step one, you're going to have to hold the power button and the volume down button at the same time. Hold it for a couple of seconds and if done correctly, the screen will turn black and automatically start the reboot process. If everything works fine, you should shortly see the Samsung logo like this one here and your tablet should now be reset. So as you can see here, the screen works. But now what you've got to remember guys is that this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. This reset process should work on other Android devices, but then this reset mainly works for this particular Samsung tablet. Now you could just wait for the battery to run out, die, then charge back up again. But if my screen fix didn't work for your Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, you might have to try a hard reset process. Now I've put that process into simple steps underneath the video in the description down below. But please note, it's most likely that you will probably lose your data and pictures in the process. If none of these steps work and your tablet screen is still not working, then you may have a problem with the screen digitizer and that will need a replacement. Anyway guys, I hope this video helped and again it's more precise than the last video that I uploaded. And please don't forget to share, please smash that like button, subscribe and make sure you hit that bell option to stay updated on all my new uploads. See you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.